As professional real estate agents, one of the commonly asked questions our sellers have for us is, should I invest in a professional home inspection before I put my property on the market? Hey, I'm Scott Sacken with Seven Gables Real Estate, and I'm really excited to give you my take on this topic. You think to yourself, oh, home inspection, that's usually something the buyer pays for after they've gone under contract on a house during their investigation contingency time frame. Well, I think it's a great idea. And of course, we always suggest that for our buyers. But why would a seller want to consider that? And why could it be a good idea? Let's dive in a little bit deeper. First of all, we have a seller, let's say, lived in his, his or her house for 25 plus years. They've maintained it expertly. They've babied it. They feel like they know all the ins and outs of that house and they know everything that's going on with it. Well, experience has told me when houses like this sell, there's inevitably several things that come up on the physical home inspection that sometimes the seller you know, gets a little rankled with because they'll say, gosh, I wasn't aware of that or I don't think that's a big problem. Well, in the world of home inspections, repair requests are subjective and objective. I like to keep surprises at bay and also I like to be controlling behind the scenes. Note, Scott tends to be very controlling in his environment, but I think that's a benefit for my clients. I actually am a big proponent of having a home inspection done on a property that's say over five years old and if the homeowner has been in there for say five years or more. Um, and the reason being is we control all the information behind the scenes so I can head anything off at the pass before we actually go on the live market. I'll tell you something, there's many times we've had a beautifully maintained home and we actually find evidence of black mold. Now that doesn't mean the homeowner hasn't taken care of their house, but there could be little spots behind a piece of drywall, behind you know cleaning supplies in a lowly cupboard somewhere in the laundry room, and we can see something. now. We can nip that in the bud. We can take care of that sometimes with some bleach, sometimes changing out a piece of drywall, but again, controlling the environment before we were to launch on the open market and others can see the property. So again, controlling the environment and getting ahead of ourselves or getting ahead of the game, I think is a very wise investment for the seller to do. Now, once we have that home inspection done as well, if it's before we put the property on the market, the disclosure, uh, rules are a little bit different. So, you know, we can talk about that. That's a whole other topic with our corporate attorneys. But again, controlling information behind the scenes and giving us the ability to make repairs on our dime is a big deal. And here's number two, why I really think that home inspections are important to be done ahead of time is anything that comes up in that inspection, myself, my team, and the sellers can talk about that. And we can say, you know what, would this be an issue for the buyer? Would it impact the price they're ultimately willing to pay for the house? Would it impact the ability for the transaction to stay together? These are all very important questions because what we want is once the property goes under contract, we want it to seamlessly tick along to a successful close. We don't want to have a hiccup or anything that might jeopardize the transaction. So we'll look at the report, ask that all important questions. Do we feel this would be important to the buyer and then make decisions whether we want to fix them? Most of the time, home inspections, we're looking at plumbing, heating, safety, electrical, and code items. Not so much cosmetics, not a crack in a tile, a chip in a floor, those kinds of things. But we, again, can get ahead of some of these big items. Third, why this is so important is because if we take care of something now, even if we disclose to a buyer, hey, we found this, and this is what we did to fix it, and here's our receipt to do that, it's a done deal. The buyer can go, whew, I don't have to worry about that and they can see the chain of events. If indeed the buyer discovers it, I've historically found that things get blown out of proportion, things are made more serious than they are, and the buyer's feeling of what it's going to cost to fix that item is generally double what it actually takes for us to do it behind the scenes. So again, in summary, I'm a big proponent of a seller investing $400 or so on a home inspection in a house today, which is averaging over a million dollars in value in the marketplace today in Orange County. It just seems to make sense to do that for a number of reasons. Summary, mainly so we can stay in control of all the information and not have a buyer discover it first, make decisions on what's important to fix, then provide information and the reports and receipts for what we fixed to quantify everything. So when we present that to a buyer, they understand what happened, what was done to fix it, and how much it costs. So they don't run away with the checkbook for the sellers. That's my take on it. I really want you to see what my business partner Lane has to say about it, because again, there's no right or wrong answer. This is just an opinion. He's got his own take on it, and we're so happy to present 
all of our heartfelt information to you. Thanks for watching.